Hello everybody and welcome back to Marwa Manor Farm. So I actually have a plan to do a bit of maze silaging today and I think we're going to have several machines on the go and also plenty of people counting. So we do have quite a large silage pit set up over here. We have just had to replace this silage pit here, it did glitch so it didn't allow anybody to actually tip into it. Um, so yeah, I've just replaced it and it should all work now hopefully. So yeah, once I have tipped this load I can obviously drop off the uh, well, I can leave the whole machine actually, leave the whole machine for somebody else to take over and I'm going to go over to the store and pick up a uh, forage harvester I wasn't actually intending on putting everything in one place there but oh well <laughs> um, yeah so I'm just going to put it over here and then we can head over to the store and maybe buy a few different machines, we'll see but that is now available for anybody who would like to use it. So yeah, we're actually very close to the BGA here. These silage pits have been placed. These ones, I think at least one of them is full. Or maybe we did it. No, maybe we did sell them because maybe they all glitched. Um, so there is a possibility we've lost quite a bit of chaff. But when it does glitch, there's not a great deal you can do. So anyway, let's go and do a bit of spending. It looks as though we do have two of the New Holland. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm, I'm probably going to go for two of these because they're just, you know, absolute beasts of machines. So if we go for pretty good wheel setup, I quite like that wheel setup there. It's, it's quite good. Um, and then we'll go for wide tyres. Might as well do because the money isn't too important at the moment. And yeah, we can <laughs> we can spend over a million pounds. So there we go. Next, I need to get the headers. Now it is maze, so we need to go for the maze headers. They're going to be quite expensive in themselves, I would imagine. Yes. Oh, good goodness me. I, I'm actually lost for words. £120,000 for the header. That's extortionate. Wow. I'm guessing that is reflecting the real life price. But if it's not, that is extreme. On top of the harvester price in itself. Anyway, uh, let's see if they've been taken. They might have already been taken. Possibly. They have. Okay, right. Uh, I should have probably jumped into one. Aha, here we go. Andy K and Farmer T have got them. That's fine. Um, I think because this is going to be quite a big silage, silaging session anyway, we can go for another one. Actually, I think I'll lease it. Because that is going to add up to be a fairly extreme amount of money. This time I'm going to try and get to it before anybody else does. And I go for my uh, original setup there. That's good. That's everything I need. So with a bit of luck, if I can just tab through. No, I've done that thing again where you go through so fast that you go past it. And then you lose it. There it is. Good. Okay. So that's going to leave possibly around 10 people carting. I don't know how many people are in the server. There can be up to 16. I don't think the server's full. There are people joining all the time though. Uh, it's actually very impressive because I haven't even promoted this since the other day. Except it is a bit laggy. Um, and yeah, the server is nearly always quite busy. Um, I think that's server lag. It seems to have calmed down. That's good. So yeah, anyway, as I was going to explain before, I'm, I just want to say this. I wasn't actually originally planning to do a multiplayer video today. I'm doing a video of multiplayer today because I just want to, you know, keep up the, the consistency of a uh, video a day. Because it's sort of important to me to do that. I do like to keep the video out a day. And um, yeah, it was going to be the start of a new Let's Play. But unfortunately, there are two maps that I really want to do. Both of them are right on the edge of completion, so they're not quite ready, but they are super close. Um, so I, I would love to do the Let's Play on either Grower's Farm or Perfect Valley Farm, both of which are still work in progress, but they're sort of so close to completion. I don't know which one it's going to be. I don't mind which one it is, because I love them both. They're both really good maps. I am going to do a Let's Play on both of them at some point, but I just don't know which one's going to be first. Anyway, it looks like everybody else in the New Holland Harvesters is already here as well, so we are going to have, I would say, five harvests on the go, which is going to look very impressive. And, well, it depends how many people are actually in the server, but I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be around 10 people counting, which does sound like quite a lot of people, but the 
traveling distance is uh, quite a long way. It's over there. You can see the sort of paler color, the gray color on the, the map. Well, not the mountain, the hillside. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's where we're going to. So it's going to take a bit of time to cart over there. Anyway, I think Voucher is about to start. I think I'm going to go over here. There has been an area cut into it. We are also going to just, you know, elapse time fairly quickly in a minute because it is going dark. In fact, what I'll probably do is time lapse it through the night time. We'll put the time to 120, and that way it's going to be just you know it's not going to be really painful to watch because it won't you won't be able to see a thing. We'll make sure everything is nice and light for the majority of the video. In fact, I would say once we've filled the first trailer, I'll put it to 120. We'll put it into a time lapse, and then we can you know do quite a bit in the night time. But then I will return in in real time with narration in the morning. So it, it will probably be like 30 seconds. 30 seconds time from when I start the time lapse. Yeah, so my, my next proper Let's Play is hopefully going to start very soon. It's always a very tricky situation to be in because I don't want to put pressure on the mappers because obviously they do this in their own time and uh, I, I really do appreciate what they do. Um, but then it's, it's sort of a case of me trying to please my audience as well by doing the latest maps so there is a bit of a fine line between annoying the mappers and helping the mappers because obviously me doing videos helps them but then if I beg them <laughs> it's it's very annoying so um, yeah I'm trying my best not to beg too much although I would love to start one of the uh, let's play very soon Okay, so as you've seen there, we have actually progressed very well, uh, in fact surprisingly well. We now seem to have the trailer situation under control, almost, um, but I might have to jump out of this and jump into a traction trailer because somebody's going to have to go into the JCB and do the compacting and leveling and stuff, so um, yes, with, with five forages on the go, it's going to become a bit much with the amount of chaff which is being dumped. So we're just going to have like a mountain and maybe we're just going to be loving it. So uh, it is going to be tough for whoever is driving the JCB, which isn't ideal. So I was just going to uh, maybe jump out of here, maybe help out around the yard, getting that sorted. But at the same time, yeah, I think I'm going to have to drive the traction trailer. We'll see if anybody else is just sort of doing another job, because if anybody else is on another job, we could do with somebody else on on this job. We'll see. But it does look like we are really under control now. Although Andy K is lacking a carter. I think Zord is gonna help out. That's good. Yeah to begin with we had one person I think carting for two harvesters and now we do have well, it's one each, which is right. I take about what I said about being okay with the amount of carters that we have. We have obviously a machine back there, a forager back there, and me, who are waiting, and everybody else is travelling. So yeah, well, clearly we have too many harvesters. Uh, I wasn't really taking into account the others. Where did Andy Cage come from? <laughs> Maybe he was there all along, I don't know. Um, well, in that case, we'll get this one filled. But yes, I would like to swap over in a minute or two. I did even increase the size of some of the trailers. We have some which are 56,000 litres in capacity. I think some are 60 something thousand litres. So we are obviously cramming it in. I can't even begin to imagine how much is in the pit already. 
Uh, at the beginning of the video the pit was new so there was absolutely nothing in it at all except for the two loads that we put in so yeah when I go back over there we'll take a look and see what the fill level is I would guess it's like well easily 300,000 litres I would say yeah it must be 300,000 it's got to be um, so yeah anyway um, I think Andy's full any second and we've got Valtra here Farmer T who's also waiting yeah, and these four. But it's crazy. I think it's crazy might be able to fill from both of us, Valtra and my one. Farmer T unfortunately has nobody at the moment, but somebody will come. I'm going to definitely jump out of here in a second. Let's see if we can get a two harvester situation here. To just signal that we're going to have two side by side. Uh, if, if it's crazy, goes up the middle. Oh, it's, oh, fast admirals here now. In that case, yeah, we can just have one sort of messing things up a bit here, I think. Uh, you're doing both. I think I've confused the situation. Um, yeah, we're sort of, I, I've just sort of pushed, it's crazy out of the way, I'm sorry, it's crazy. I didn't mean to do that, I, I was expecting him to go, or she, go up the middle. We've got a crossover, look at that. We're almost a crossover, oh no, we do have a crossover. Uh, that is really firing it in. It is filling up fast. I'm not too sure where we're going from here, possibly up here. It would be a good idea to go down the side. And then this section will be finished, and we've just got the big section over there. Okay, back to the one trailer, and everybody's got their own trailer. This is going to be... Yeah, this is almost finished. And here we go. Being... No, 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 no. Yes, that's better. Uh, being pushed around. There we go. Okay, uh, so that is this section of the field completed. I'm now going to show that I'm changing vehicles by jumping out. It's usually a good way of doing it. I wonder if anybody wants to swap. Right, uh, Nicola, I think it is, has decided to swap. Thank you. Uh, which means I am now casting. What we're going to do is get a full load, and then we're going to take it over to the silage pit, see how things are going, and we might have to help over there. Just depends. Um, but yeah, really, we're lacking. We are lacking the carters rather than the forager drivers. So I don't think it would even be a problem if we did just park a forager up. Racing voucher. Uh, right, this one here. If anybody's in that, I don't think they are. They're not. In that case, um, yeah, that, that's going to confuse things. There is Diamond Tiger over here. If I want to do a bit of carting, not too sure. A bit of harvesting. We'll see. See if they start moving. They do. Nice. Oh. <laughs> uh, over here, come on. Uh, that is an issue which does happen from time to time in multiplayer. It's happened before. Although it looks absolutely ridiculous, it is actually filling my trailer. My trailer is being filled by that, believe it or not. You wouldn't have thought it, but it is. Goodbye. Over. Are several people leaving? Anyway, um, yeah, so that's going to look a bit weird just for this one trailer load. Almost full. 90% so I don't know if we're going to get to the end of the field we should just about get there it's going to be very tight um, right, that's 1% left and there we go ok just going to head over here yes that's why you take a headland off first it makes it much easier to count um, and yes we're now going to go and see the very impressive I can imagine uh, silage pit, it, it must be really full, unless it's being split over two. There is a possibility that both are being filled at the same time, which would make sense, it makes it easier. Just caught a player trying to draw a winkle in the field, can't believe it. Kick them anyway. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. It's going to be quite busy, I would say. There's actually quite a few trailers there. I was wondering if, uh, if we had any spare, but we do, but quite a few. So have I just gone past the entrance or do we have to go through the stable 
think you do go through the stable, but you don't tend to go and crash into the owner's car, like I've just demonstrated. Uh, yeah, I think, well, we'll see, because somebody else has just pulled in behind me, so if, if, if somebody else gets there before me, it means they've gone the wrong way. But I think that is the only way. Uh, shows what I know. I've just gone straight past the entrance. Good. Um, right, so this is the field here. Jim obviously knew better. And yes, they're both being filled, so we can just drive and empty at the same time, hopefully. If I can just get this mountain compacted. Come on, mountain. Nope, I managed to get completely stuck. It's quite impressive, the incompetence that I actually show. But thank you, Anders. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, right, let's drive straight back up there again. Only on the other side. Maybe this time I won't get stuck. How embarrassing. Oh, oh. I've got stuck, but hopefully we can keep it moving. Oh, come on! No, I don't want to put it on one pile. It's just going to block the curler in behind me. This tractor isn't as good as the wheel tractors, I'm sure. That's it. Blame the tractor. It's always the easiest way. I did tend to get stuck on these, though, so... I kind of feel that it is the tractor. It doesn't even look like I should get stuck. Maybe it's the trailer. Could be the trailer. Oh, it is the trailer. It's so easy to move when it's not attached, but when it is attached, it just becomes stuck instantly. Right, we've got it free. Sebastian gave me a good push, and it moved it. Uh, Zul thinks it's more the tractor than the trailer. I, I suggested it was the trailer. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is head back and, well, clear the squat queue now. Nearly everybody is here full, which means nobody's at the harvesters. Uh, I really have messed things up there. Anyway, let's go back into the field and get these harvesters moving once again. Something about the setup, <laughs> it just doesn't really work too well on here. Um, but we do currently have these were both empty, by the way 663,000 litres in that one and 508,000 litres in that one. So over a million litres of chaff have been harvested just in this video. It is impressive, very impressive. So, what we're going to do now is go over to the field. You can see that, well, a lot of it has been done. Um, I'm hoping they can continue quite well without extra carters and we can see it from up here yes that's where the, the certain drawing started you can see what it was going to be I should think um, I stopped it before it fully happened but yeah it's going well we have had some serious chaff off this uh, I, I just sort of can't quite begin to imagine how long it's going to take to sell the fermented silage. It's going to be quite a job. It's almost finished. And we have three harvesters still on the go. Plenty of carters. So, yeah, it's, it's a massive field, this. A field well done. In fact, I'm not even going to be required for this because there's going to be no more loads to do. Uh, so once I've tipped this, we'll wait for a couple more loads to come in from everybody else and then we can see exactly what we have in the pit. Now, with the exception of the two first trailer loads, everything in the pit, I think, is from this field. So it's an extreme amount of chaff, which, of course, makes an extreme amount of silage. I'm not going to have space for the rest of the field. That's unfortunate. But we will still see the field finished because we have just this piece here to do. They finished over there, so as we're driving away, as long as they don't crash into anybody, we should see the whole lot finish. Almost. It's just a, a very small point. Any second. How much of the field left, Farmer T says? Uh, the answer is nothing. Absolutely none at all. We're done. Field 18, that gigantic field on Marwell Manor Farm, is done in one episode. And here we are. Oh, almost crashed. Uh, it looks like they're full. Uh, we're going to have to just tip at the entrance there. 
the entrance of the pit, and then can be pushed up with the wheel loaders. I guess. See if I can do it here. I think everybody else is going in the back way, which is probably the most sensible thing to do. Uh, yeah, that is, that is full. Hello. I'm going to have to go around the other way. I've just been stuck again. That makes a change. Oh no, no, no. I was expecting to move. Yeah, I think it's the trailer. I know we are on a a mound here, but even so, pretty sure it's the trailer. Yeah, it's got to be, because the tractor's just done that, and that means something has stopped it in its tracks. That is a bad trailer. Naughty trailer. So we're done. There we go. The whole field done. Let's just finish off by taking a look at the fill levels. Obviously not everything is in, but it gives you a pretty good indication of, uh, of what we actually do have here. Uh, so we've got 904,000 litres in that one, so almost a million, and 508,000 in this one. Wow. It's like 1.5 million litres, roughly. That's incredible. So thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.